It's an intersection with a deadly reputation around Portland. Three people have died there in just the past six years. The city hopes a new signal installed at Southeast Foster and 80th will help people get across the street safely. KJU's Margie Lynch is live. Margie, how's it working so far? Let me show you how this new crosswalk signal works. You push this button here and it makes the yellow lights blink, having traffic slow to a stop. And so far, a lot of cars have slowed here today, but some say the real test will be tonight when it gets dark. For the victims, families, and friends, they hope this works. She was a remarkably vivacious person. Friends and acquaintances of 24 year old Lindsay Leonard describe her as full of life. But the life of the 2008 Re College grad was cut short. She was killed while crossing Foster Road at 80th Avenue November 1st. Leonard's friend Jessica Finley died after being hit here that night, too. And they weren't the first. In 2004, 13 year old Ava DeMeo was killed trying to cross the same intersection. You take your life in your hands. The city says they want to prevent this problem from ever happening again. It's why they've installed these rapid flash beacons with flashing lights and verbal cues. Cross street with caution. Vehicles may not stop. Neighbors say it's about time something's done. Judy Kittner says getting across this intersection has been a nightmare. It's been bad, especially if you want to just make a real quick stop, go get something to eat. You take it like 15 minutes, get across. But some drivers don't think the blinking yellow light is effective. If you don't see a traffic light, you're going to be more inclined to maybe just want to go through, get confused. Still, advocates of street safety say it has to be better than what it was, even though nothing eliminates risk. We have make decisions at every second of our day, and each crash involves people that are loved and admired, and we need to do everything that we can to make our neighbors safe. Now, Mayor Adams says the other kind of walk, don't walk signals cost $125,000 to install, whereas this one costs just $25,000. Live in Southeast Portland tonight, Margie Lynch, K2 News.